Ladies and gentlemen, who is ready to see some epic camp builds? I know I am. We've had a break from the top five for a couple of weeks, but now we're back. Let's get into it. In the number five spot, we have Mystery Moonlight with the Scab Shack build. Now, if you've ever heard the phrase, size doesn't matter, well, this is a perfect example of it. You know what? I wish my wife had the same point of view on things as well. Self-depreciating comments aside, right? Mystery, I love this build. The scrappiness is perfect. It looks like an absolute crap hole from the outside, but that's what we want with this kind of build. I'm loving it. The deco you've got out here as well, top notch. Cannot complain one bit. And you know what, right? I'll even go as far as saying... I like the location. I know the Cocaine Valley isn't for everybody, but I think this build really suits this spot. Mystery, to put it simple, yeah, you've killed it. Exterior, 10 out of 10. Let's have a wander on to the inside of it and see what's going on in here. Right, mm-hmm, yeah, again, it's stunning. Um, the decor levels, it, wow, you have done an amazing job with it. Aye, this is phenomenal work. The merges you've got going on, the amount of crap you've got in here. It's perfect. I can't find another word for it. This is the advantage of fun size packages, guys. From the outside, they don't look too much. But, you know, when you start investigating them a little bit, you realise just how effective they can be. And camp builds are very similar as well. Mr. 8 Stellar Camp you've got here. Any other week, this could have been number one. But as you're going to see, guys, this week had some... <laughs> ridiculous builds anyhow thank you very much for entering this week mr it congratulations on the number five spot right then in the number four spot we have the flailing fox i, I don't know why i do that when i say your name mate it's just um yeah moving on swiftly what we have here is an extremely unique build i don't think i've seen anybody do anything quite like it it's a 19th century village Mmm, intriguing now then not only is this build incredible it is a pretty sick looking creation let me tell you it is also chunky this thing is thick i'm talking your booties jiggling out of them jeans baby pull your pants up thick right so first impressions of the outside of it i like the prefab bell tower here actually and you know what i'm like with um prefabs guys some of them are you know okay but the rest are pretty awful in my opinion However, like I say, in this case, I like how it's been used. It fits in well with the overall theme of it. And yeah, just in general, the, the exterior of this build, it looks exactly like what you're trying to go for. Very clever use of the reversed Helvetia walls, I must say. They are quite a... Um, old school medieval kind of um, wall pattern if you know what i mean ah of course you do and it really does help keep it in theme now with this being such a chunky build you'd expect the interiors to be you know quite barren however in this case surprisingly you would be incorrect now yes some buildings aren't as well fleshed out as others but ones such as this marketplace here they are quite literally packed to the rafters and not only with that, it's really highly detailed as well. Yeah, you can tell you've spent a lot of time, you know, actually decorating it. Fox, this is a really cool build. It's really unique. I think you've done incredible work with it. And yeah, I wish I could show more. But as you know yourself, you, your video were half an hour long. So um, yeah, we're not going to be able to uh, show much more, unfortunately. Thank you very much for entering this week. Congratulations on the number four spot. Okay then, so now we come to number three spot and this is where things start to heat up a little bit because these camps are just the next level. The camp that you're seeing on your screen now is the Flying Sushi Bar by Tea Noodle. And again, any other week, th this is a number one build, hands down. Okay then, so where do we begin? Obviously, this is built around the boat prefab. One of the prefabs that I do actually think is pretty awesome, to be honest with you. And Tea Noodle, he's totally transformed it. It almost looks unrecognisable. Seriously, guys, I felt bad putting this at number three, yeah, because this is top-notch work. I mean, come on, just look at the levels of detail. Detail. There, there is so much going on here, it's hard to unpack. We've got merges on top of merges. We've got items shoved in places that they shouldn't be shoved. To put it bluntly, it's organised chaos and it shouldn't work, but it really does. This is, um, yeah, this is a top level build, this. Scrappy looks, immersive even though it's a floating bow. Um, ideas that I don't even know where you begin to think of them. And to top it off, look at that interior. 
Pat to the rafters. Extremely well thought out and incredible looking as well. Tea Noodle, you have smashed it with this build. Knocked it out the park, my friend. Thank you very much for entering this week. Like I say, any other week, this is number one easily. Well done on the number three spot on your first ever entry. All right then, so in the number two spot, we have another extremely unique build. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Temple Remains build by KH Corners. And I mean, just look at it. Do I really need to say anything? That is stunning work. What a beautiful looking camp. You know what, right? When I say it's hard to build realistic structures, like something you see in the real world in Fallout 76, I'm usually referring to IRL buildings, right? The kind of stuff you'd see every day. Don't get me wrong, they are difficult, but building what is effectively a ruined temple in 76, uh, yeah, that's a whole nother level. Simply put, we do not have the facilities to build that in terms of like wall pieces and whatnot. You have to get creative. And guys, that is exactly what KH has done. He's used the Wavy Willards pieces. Now, you do see a lot of people using these for churches and whatnot, but ruined temples? Nah, th this is a first for me. Genuinely right, this looks like something out of Indiana Jones. I will say the roof pieces don't match in very well with it, but the actual structure with all the vines on it and the way it's set out, yeah, this is um, this is spectacular. So, looks and uniqueness aside, the camp location that KH has chose as well, it's absolutely nuts. This is on top of, oh, for Christ's sake, I can't remember its name. Oh, the Big Buddy Mountain, right? Um, let me know down in the comments. My mind's gone blank. Ah, oh, bloody hell. You, you know where I'm on about, though, don't you guys? It, it is not easy to build up here. The ground's dead uneven. There's rocks everywhere. Building with normal materials is hard enough, let alone, you know, wavy willard stuff. This camp is unique. It looks amazing. The camp location adds a whole other level of difficulty to it. And that's why this build is in the number two spot. KH, thank you very much for entering this week. Congratulations on the number two spot. Adds off to you, mate. Okay then, so now we come to the number one spot. And guys, what could possibly be what we have already seen? Now, I will say just before I reveal who's won this week, we do have some honourable mentions as well. And I'll be showing them very shortly indeed. Now then, with all that being said, this week's winner of the camp competition is Lanthar with the Quack build. Now this thing is revolutionary. Have you ever seen anything so glorious? in Fallout 76. Nay, have you ever seen anything so glorious full stop? Absolutely stunning. Oh, wait, just hang on a minute. April the 1st? No, it's not April the 1st today, is it? Guys, I'm sorry, I've made a massive mistake here. I've got, you know, my wires crossed a little bit. This week's actual winner is Payu with the Fountain build. Let me ask you, have you ever seen anything so beautiful in Fallout 76? That is... <laughs> That is amazing. That is absolutely incredible, Payu. I don't know how you do it, mate. I'm still absolutely gobsmacked by this. Um, yeah, so let's take a closer look at it and see what is actually done here. How have you got them wires up with no conduits? Th there is literally no conduits in sight. Witchcraft. Literally witchcraft is, is the only way I can think of you doing this. I, I'm literally clueless, and the way you've got it all shaped as well, mate, this is, this is next level, bud, this, this is true, it, <laughs> I, I don't even know, straight up, you know, this is probably one of the most technically impressive camps I've ever seen, and it's one of the prettiest as well, that is, it's gorgeous, mate, it really is. Put it this way, if you can get somebody to say Fallout 76 and gorgeous in one sentence when speaking about a camp, you're doing something right. Payu, you've raised the bar again, mate. <laughs> this is unbelievable work. Dude, thank you so much for entering this week and congratulations on the number one spot. I think this is probably one of the best camps I've seen in 76. And I mean that in general. Out of every camp I've ever seen, this is easily one of the best. Again, mate, thank you for entering. Congratulations on the number one spot. More than well deserved. Beautiful work. Absolutely beautiful. And with that masterpiece, that wraps up the top five camps. However, we have still got to take a look at the honourable mentions. And let me tell you, these builds are just as insane. Come on, I'll show you. Let's have a ganders. Right then, so our first honourable mention goes to Moomite Cowboy with the underpinnings. Sorry, sorry, no, the pinnings. Um, clean modern built. Sorry, I've just got it on the brain. Right then, so this is a perfect example of how difficult this week was. 
This build by Moonlight Cowboy in the honourable mentions. Yeah, any other week, this is top five material. Moon, I love how clean the thing is. I like the layout of it and how well it fits on top of Pylon. And let me tell you guys, building up here, it's not going to be easy, is it? I've never tried it myself because I don't fancy having an early death. However, I think we can all agree it's no easy feat. And Moon has obviously put a lot of time into this, a lot of effort, and it's come out absolutely beautifully, mate. As everybody, fantastic work. Thank you very much for entering this week. Congratulations on the honourable mention, dude. So for our second and final mention, we have Acid Rain with the Liberator Camp. Now, I did struggle to place this. Should it have been in the top five? Maybe? I, I, I don't know. I did go back and forth with this one a lot. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Either way, no matter where it's placed, this thing is awesome. I have seen a couple of Liberator builds before. Um, I can't remember who it was that did the last one I saw. I'd say this one's just as good though, Acid. I think you've done a terrific job on, you know, actually getting something to look like a Liberator. It's no easy feat. Again, guys, another case of trying to build something that's realistic. Uh, this time, trying to match something that's in the game. You'd think that'd be easy, but no. No, it really isn't. Acid, I think you've done a top job on this. Not just the Liberator either. The decor that you've got going on around it. All the junk that's placed. And the filming and editing, I must say, yeah, you did a fantastic job. Thank you very much for entering this week. Congratulations on the honourable mention. Like I say, I did struggle to place this one. And guys, I am genuinely intrigued at what you think of my placements not just this camp overall as well as ever i'd like to say a massive thank you to all my channel members and patreons i've got far too many to list um, at the end of videos now due to some very generous donations during streams so thank you for that but guys i just want to say a massive thank you to all of you who are subscribed comment like the videos watch them you know what i'm saying don't you as we say in the north i will love you and leave you and i'll catch you in the next one have fun everybody